Auburn University. North Carolina versus one of the best teams we've seen in a long time, the Auburn Tigers. Carolina football highlights brought to you by Brindles. And, Coach, we're going to pick it up first and 10 on your 29. John, they came out throwing the ball with Reggie Slack. They're such a talented football team. They're averaging 250 rushing and 250 throwing. And you make a big play here, third and two on your two-yard line. Great goal line stand. Part of our team growing up, we did this twice during the day. Look at that. Chris Jacobs hits him. Got a lot of Carolina Tar Heels flying around that football. Look at the excitement and enthusiasm forcing the field goal. And they had to kick the field goal. Lyle did. A 21-yarder to put Auburn up three to nothing. And then, Coach, you have a big uh, interception here going against you that hurts you. Well, we fumbled the first snap. There's a lot of anticipation on our part. Then we got pressure on Jonathan. A little high throw. They intercept it. Run it back down. To, and then, for again this week, John, we haven't started well. Got a lot of guys chasing him to stop him there. They come back the next play, which usually, after a turnover, somebody's going to hit you with something big. Here's the reverse off of it. Uh, got a lot of guys chasing that football. They outrun us, and all of a sudden, we're down 10 to nothing, John, before the game's even started. 9-13 left in the first quarter. Third down and two, Coach, on your 24, and Kennard Martin was tough again. Kennard Martin had over 70 yards rushing. Watch him knocking people down. Kennard Martin's a very good football player, and we're fortunate to have it. Second down, eight, Carolina 33, Torn Dorn, and watch this Auburn hit. Torn came into his own today. That thing, it was dangerous to be out there today, and I'll say this about our guys. They were aggressive also, and it was a tough hitting battle throughout the day. Now coach will move down second and 10 on the Carolina 30. Got us with a draw play here again. They can throw it, they can run it, they can finesse you with a draw. Just an outstanding football team, John. Second quarter we go. Second down seven on the Carolina 11. Miss a tackle right here and uh, guy Love goes in the end zone. Good play by him. A lot of guys flying around the football. Young Eric Gash there in for the first time, but they've got a good offense. And here's Torn Dorn for six. Torn running hard. Torn had some hard yards during the ball game. Was very proud of our offensive line. They ran against one of the best football teams in America on defense. And Jonathan gets pressure here. Jonathan did an outstanding job of getting rid of the ball. Had a lot of people around him all day. He took the lick. Jonathan Hall's a tough young guy and a good leader. Did a good job for us during the ball game. And here, Coach, another reverse. Fourth and one on your 34. Another reverse. Good play by them. They knew how young we were on defense. They knew how excited we were. Eric Gass chasing the ball. They knock us down there, knock two guys down, and they used that against us with a reverse because we were overplaying so much and trying so hard. Jonathan is going to hit Thompson here for eight. Got a little delay pattern out here to the right. JT turns up against the tough Auburn defense for a good yardage. And, Coach, you come back to Benefield here for a 12-yard game. Well, we had stopped them right before the half. We're moving the ball a little bit, hit Michael off the bootleg into the flat. Michael makes some good yards. So we really went into halftime with a lot more momentum than we came out right in early in the ball game, John, where they hurt us so much. 23-0 Auburn at halftime. Carolina does some good things in the second half. We'll come back to see them after these messages. in the first half in the locker room coach what did you try to do to rally your team thing we told them at halftime as Auburn had earned 10 12 15 points in there somewhere but we had helped them some with the turnovers we had we had missed some tackles in the first half and we felt like we had to go back out play our football game be aggressive and we were going to see at the end of the game who had played the best they could possibly play full intensity till it was over Carolina fumbled a snap, uh, and Auburn converted a field goal to make it 26-0, Coach, and here's a pass to a freshman football player. Well, he's a good player, and you can see right there, Skeet Baldwin breaking on the ball. We've got Bernard Timmons, who played an outstanding football game, had nearly 16 tackles coming out to get him, and also Brad Sullivan doing a good job. Eric Gash right in the face there to Wiegand. Bulatich makes the tackle. Uh, they've just got a lot of weapons they can throw at you, John. And here's Love from the three-yard line. Here's coach. Love. He's a great player. It's a shame that uh, our fans are having to see their touchdowns because our defense played aggressively throughout the game. And unless you were there, you can't really appreciate how good Auburn is and how tough our young defense played. And Jonathan Hall makes a good play here and gets the penalty tacked on. Jonathan running against their defense, gets out of bounds, got a late hit there, tacked it on him. We start getting some momentum here offensively and play a lot better in the second half offensively than we did the first half. Third and 18, Coach, from your 39. Third and eight, drops back to throw to young Eric Blunt. Good play on the boundary. And we're in a fourth and two here, John. We weren't having a lot of success. We said, let's go for it. And boy, did you uh, get a great block and some good running by Martin. Breaks some tackles. Good job by the thrust of the offensive line up front. 
This was a play that has to give our offense confidence on our end of the field going for the first down. And here comes Kennard again. Kennard's really making some plays. I'm sure he's a sore young man after that ball game, John, but he's breaking tackle play after play, a good football player for you him. You love this, don't you? Reggie Clark came back so happy for Reggie. Got the face mask penalty on them there that we get assessed on the kickoff. Jonathan Hall in the pocket. Reggie Clark, big play for the touchdown. 33 to 7. Then from Carolina's 33, Danley, a sophomore. What a player. Danley's a great player. Got people chasing him. Come on, Chuck. Hang on. Big play for them. They take it right back down and score. And now we'll, we'll come up, Coach, with another great drive for Carolina. Started on the 13. This is second and eight from the 15. Well, they've got two great players in there jumping around. Here's a good job of John Keller catching the football, staying in that pocket tough. Good drive by our bunch. Kennard Martin sweeps for eight. Good blocking. Eric Blunt fighting on the blocking again. Kennard breaking tackles. Big play by him down the left boundary. First down, Carolina 36. Hall to Benefield for 14. Here we come with a little boot action again. Michael Benefield. Good play out of the backfield for us. Michael turning up. You see John Keller, Randy Marriott trying to get the block on our boundary. Nice first down coach at midfield, and Kennard's going to gain nine. Good job by the thrust of the offensive line. Very proud for them. They grew up a lot, breaking tackles. Second down and one for us. Our offensive line has to continue to do what they did in the second half for us to be able to run the football. And Dorn gets you the first down. Good hard running by Dorn. Two of our tailbacks came through in this ball game. Uh, best Torn has been able to do this year. We expect big things out of him the rest of the year. Big time catch here, Coach. Another play by Reggie Clark diving over two Auburn defensive backs. I'm really, really happy for what Reggie was able to accomplish during the ball game. Good goal line offense here. Good goal line offense. Good thrust again. Watch Kennard knocking it up in there. The offensive line's coming off that football with a lot of roll. And here goes Kennard for the touchdown. Coach. Another good play. A little dip up inside, getting at Pout Crowley, leading him on the corner and sticks it in the end zone. 40 to 14, Auburn at that point. And now Auburn moves it back down the field. Second down and two at the Carolina 11. Well, they have a big kickoff return. They bounce it on us here. We can't lose contain there. He gets in the end zone. Young Terrence Fed trying to get on him from free safety. Stuffy Hewitt. We had to move Stuffy because of some injuries this week to strong safety. And we still got some work to do there. Deems May in at quarterback. Deems throws to uh, Randy Marriott on first down. Deems came in, leads us down at the end of the game for a, a big touchdown drive here. Very impressive by Deems. Good individual play by Torn Dorn. Great effort. Breaks out of it. Turns around. Watch our guys hustling, John. Last quarter, time running out. Still trying to get that ball in the end zone. First down at the Auburn 36. Good fake. Deem sits in that pocket. Then he decides to run. Turns up in. Very aggressive running, which you'll see again here in a minute. Really helped us in the drive two times with the run. Second down and 10 at the Auburn 15. Time running out. Got the little shuffle pass. Michael trying to get there. Did a good job. Second week in a row. Scoring late in the game and also utilizing our timeouts. Here, Deems May makes another nice play. Here you see on the bootleg. Nobody's open. Deems turns it. Tries to stick it in that end zone late. We're competing and trying to get that ball in that end zone. And a very, very impressive drive here, John. You like this run by Martin. Great run. He stopped. He bounced. He sticks that thing in the end zone again. Uh, I see some very, very positive things as Kennard, uh, of Kennard each week as he starts to gain confidence. Auburn wins it, but not before Carolina gave him a fight there in the second half. 47-21 is the final score.